we have got to be near the end of this game, right? There can't be that much more left to it. And um, you guys won't notice, but the way I'm going to cut it, I'm uh, I'm actually coming back to this game about three or four days later. I um I wanted to get a 4090 before the Callisto Protocol drops, but um, they are all out of stock. The scalpers are just having a field day scalping. And so I have decided to take advantage of Amazon's um, return policy. So if I do my return before January 31st, then I get to get my money back. So hopefully um, someone will have the Strix, um, well, not the Strix version, the Gigabyte 4090 in stock, because I'm hearing that that's like the one that people are um, having positive reviews for. Some of the other ones are having coil whining or, you know, melting cables. Can't forget the melting cables. But, um, yo, this looks like the path that we take when we're Ethan. Whoa. What is that? Where are yo, that's crazy. What is this, dead space? What is that, a, a brother moon or something up there? Huh. I wonder if that's the other stratums. Anyway, this looks like the place that uh, Ethan goes through in the beginning of the main game. Actually, you know what? I think it is. And then he finds his way in the village once we go up here. What is this doing here? What's all this doing out here? That's what I'm saying, Rose. It's like the stratums are collapsing. Handgun ammo, I'll take that. You bet, you bet, you bet. Let me just see something. Okay, I have two heals. Any crafting? Nope. Alright, so far I got two heals. Alright, we're gonna have to see what's going on with Evelyn. You know, I'm gonna be real. I never really liked how Evelyn's story ended. I always felt kind of bad for Evie. How a kid was literally born and raised to be a weapon and then they turned her into a killing machine. Are these all the stratums? How am I? What is this place? Oh, this is definitely final boss territory. This is interesting. Yeah, these must be all of the different stratums that you can go to or could have gone to. I think we're pretty much at the end. I can sense something from over there. Head for the giant core. Dude, they're gonna do something stupid. Alright, be ready. Oh, Rose? Oh, it's just me? That's not creepy at all. And she's got a bunch of crows around her? That's not a bad omen. Not at all. All right, um, I have no shoddy ammo. Ugh, I don't want to follow you. I don't know if you're friendly or not. Uh, at least there's no uh, goats or cows being dragged away. And freaking lichens. Bunch of white sage, I'll take that. First aid, yep. As soon as they start giving you all these items, man. Oh, what? Just like in the castle. Hmm. I still want to know what all these roses are. What do they mean? Yeah, the parts of the places we visited are falling down to earth. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let me back up. Let me back up, hold up. Roses. Oh, so that's what they were. Yeah, it made sense. See, I don't have a pipe bomb to clear them out. And you know what, I actually heard something. I don't know if it's true or not, but um, 
I was watching uh, Maximilian do play the game on Twitch, and I think he discovered that the speed of the enemies in this DLC is tied to the frame rate. And if that is the case, that explains a whole lot because I was getting caught on some scenarios where I really felt like like they really either just didn't design the sequence well or they just straight up wanted you to die. Now, it could be because I'm playing on hardcore and I think he was playing on normal, but uh, I don't know. Some of the situations I found myself in, man, I was like, bro, there's no way it's it should be this hard, right? Like, it felt like cheap deaths, you know? Not like the game was actually difficult deaths. All right, keep moving. Ew. Ugh, keep moving. Come on, move. Yeah, there we go. Out of my way. Grab it. Grab it. I mean, I could, I could help you, but I'm not going to. Okay, you know what? Come on, come on. Nope, getting countered. Get off me. I got places to be. See, body blocking, body blocking. Always with the body blocking. Come on, Rose, hurry up. Yeah, third person in this game is so weird, man. It needed some more work. It definitely needed some more time in the oven. That's disgusting. Oh, this looks like somebody's research uh, little station. Someone's been here. Oh, gee, Rose, you think? Okay, the Mega My Seat absorbs the memories of all life within its reach. But there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. Number one, the memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Number two, only those who are attuned to the mutamycete in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Before your death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Mega My Seat, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived, I have continued to strive. They are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Mega My Seat where it serves as a source of power from within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. That sounds bad. This is really reminding me of what happened between Cloud and Sephiroth, where he knocked him into the um, Mako, and he basically fused with Genova's cells and became this like Wi-Fi ghost dude. Yeah, that's basically Sephiroth's story, where he can, uh, whatever, I'm just gonna ignore that, because you guys didn't come here for that, but yeah, Final Fantasy VII is dope. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement, with so many minds and memories gathered here. Finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know of the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all my years of searching. Rosemary Winters. 
Yeah, this is definitely, um, what's her name? Yeah, Miranda is basically still alive. That's, that's crazy. Here, I thought she was done for. I have been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousness stored within the Megamycete. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamycete and mixed with other consciousness and memories, extracting and reassembling an individual who has thus diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I use different individuals' consciousness to create an entity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, re-spooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual, birth anew in this realm. A success to be sure, but while this unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Conclusion. While manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. Yeah, she wouldn't know, but we do. Ooh, shoddy ammo. That's what I'm talking about, man. Y'all fill me up with all this ammo. Come on. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. Well, that explains all the roses. So it came from, you know, this is crazy. It came from Miranda, who's technically still alive with no physical body. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive. Some other actor within this realm and a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm, where were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen, Miranda. Additional observations, further experiments with these Rose copies, as I have taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. Well, okay. Ugh, it was just gushing blood. Nasty, okay. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with the consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure, Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her immutomycy powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. We'll definitely be seeing about that. Seriously, Japanese people and flesh tentacle monsters, bro, and flesh walls. Why? Why is this a thing? All right, that looks like all of the, you know what? Let me go back for a second. I don't want to miss any file because this pretty much explains. Oh, I just noticed they're in the cage. That's horrible. So I read all the files. Yeah. Okay. 
I feel like this is it. Final boss time. It has to be. We've been given so much information from just those notes that pretty much explains everything. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. I'm almost there. Michael. That pull I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought I had made it when I saw that blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger, so close. I was so close. Wait a minute, this might be a hint. Okay, a feeling of a pull. Hmm, and blue light. Okay. Sounds like I'm gonna have to move quick. That's what I've gathered from that node. It's through here. Yeah, this is where uh what's his name? Chris comes through, right? Nothing crazy better happen back here. Oh, I can't go back there. Alright, well whatever. Let's read. Black God, which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world. As befits your will, your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy, but to preserve and once again deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. Yeah, you think? Yo, why is Rose so surprised by everything that goes on here, considering? Her reactions are so weird, man. This one's the real deal. I can feel it. Girl, are you blind? <laughs> Yo, they didn't even try to make the women in this game scary, man. They did the complete Rose, opposite. I've waited so long for you. Who, who are you? My name is Mara. You would become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly use your powers. No, but Kay said, did he or did I? Yeah, okay. Was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! Yo, that is a crazy twist. But that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I know. Yo, Ethan, can you go back me up, bro? <laughs> Wait, you just leaving me behind. Ethan! 
Wait, where'd you get that shotgun from? Okay, okay, that must be my shotgun. Yo, they really are committing to not showing his face? Come on, they gotta show it at the end. They can't be this committed. Wait, so he can only manifest here? I wonder why. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! Woo! normal life make friends no one will ever call you a freak again but rose just go i don't want to leave you I, know. I love you but i need to know you're safe so please just Ethan, you insolent pest. i got this get out of here Well, I knew it was gonna go that way. Why would you give up powers? <laughs> like, why would you wanna give these powers up? Especially in this universe. This universe is always having some kind of viral outbreak, man. I've got this. You think your powers oh. allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Yes, I actually do. Whoa, what? Wait a minute. Hold up. We have we have Dante's trickster? Oh, oh. Uh. Wait, did she just say there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth? What? Hold on. No, this ain't good. I don't uh, I don't have the right controls for this on uh keyboard and mouse. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to practice doing that. Uh, and you C to absorb what incoming projectiles. You can see. Woo! Okay, alt to rally Rose's powers into a massive make a mice heat attack. Yo! I won't let you do this. That's crazy. And, and you know what? You know what I realized? I think this DLC takes place, uh, like before the ending that we see in um the main game where she uh pretty much like is about to fold the guy who calls her Evelyn cuz uh whew, she mentions that she has powers that not even Chris knows about but clearly this has to be before that point in time No. Okay. Switch to this. Got it. How did I miss? What? Okay, hold up. Get some distance. Absorb it. Okay. And there we go. Is doing anything? I don't think so. I think I just have to hit her. 
I'm trying to talk and concentrate. And it's got me using controls I'm not even used to using. Uh oh, not this crap again. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, trickster. Oh. Oh. Where's she coming from? Oh no, Miranda. Got it. Got them both. Oh crap. Do it again. Do it again. Where'd she go? Oh, I need. F That's what it is. I need this to be full. For me to be able to use that attack. Okay. No, it needs to be four of them to be able to use it. Yo, where is Evelyn? Ah, oh, I should have grabbed that. No. Sit down. Bad Miranda. Die. Well, you chose me as a vessel for a reason. Yo, Ethan, you good? Yo, Ethan is just sitting here crying against the rock. <laughs> Whew. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want to stop that. All right, hold on. I'm getting bodied right here. I'm getting bodied right here. Oh, okay. Crap! Will I just keep dodging? Yes, so. You just won't give up. Sit down. Uh huh. That's some for you. Uh huh. Crap. Woo! I could have died right there. Whoop! Nope. Oh, she can knock you out of that? That's dirty. How many shots are you going to take, Miranda? Yo, can you die? Please no. Oh, I, I literally can't see. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to dodge that? Yo, what? Okay, that was supposed to happen. Yeah, what have I got? Come ha! Oh, <laughs> that didn't go how like I thought it was gonna go. So much power! You truly would have been the perfect vessel for my Eva. I'm not a goddamn vessel. I'm not some stupid copy. I'm me, 
Yo, Rose is too strong. I see why this has to take place at the end of pretty much the entire timeline. If Rose is capable of doing this outside of this reality, of this like reality marble place, whatever you want to call it, that's insane. She effectively is the strongest character in the RE universe. How long has Ethan been fighting in here, man? That's crazy. So many questions, man. I have so many questions. So it's okay. I'm okay. I'm so proud of you. I'm so very proud. Well, that explains K talking about how not dangerous things were. <laughs> that explains a lot. I'm back. But where's Mia? Because I know she said something like she hasn't seen mom in a while, like a very long time, is how she made it sound. Like, what? Oh, I hope these questions are answered because this is pretty much the end. Yeah, she's on the bus right now, right? Yep, just like I thought. That whole DLC took place before this epilogue. And what happened to Evelyn? Okay. They better answer that. Uh, okay. Then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think that Mia feels bad. You think it does? <laughs> but coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it was just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Yo, you gonna let her punk you like that, bro? <laughs>
keep it together, Ross. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. A lot like who? Chris? He can't mean Ethan because how does this dude know Ethan? Unless I'm yo questions answers now, please Capcom. I wonder, did we ever figure out who that guy is on the side of the road? Everyone speculated Ethan, but now that I think about it, it makes more sense for that to be Chris or just a random person. Yo, really? Bruh, what happened to Evelyn? Where is Mia? <laughs> now, I don't think they were planning on doing anything else in this um future timeline. Um, I, It's the same timeline, but it just takes place in the far future. And yeah, I think that from now on, every RE game that comes out is going to be a prequel to this. Huh, that's interesting. Well, um, it is what it is, I guess. Um, I'll look to see if there is some kind of after credit scene again. But for the most part, I enjoyed my time on this DLC. I think it's um, it's definitely worth the 20 bones. So I think I'll give this game about a nine. I really enjoyed the House Beneviento section. That was creepy. And um, what else did I like? I liked the the way the final fight ended up playing out when it was all said and done. That was a treat. And you know what? It reminds me, Village does this thing where it takes a lot of the ideas that the original Resident Evil 4 had and then it repackages them. Um, this entire game, the main game, is like a love letter to the original RE4, but I noticed that this feels like what they probably would have done with Leon in Resident Evil 3.5, where he had the power inside his his arm that was infected and he could use it to like ward off the hallucinations or something like that. Right. Um, I wonder if that's a concept that they were going to do and they never got around to doing it. And so they decided, well, we're going to do it in the Shadows of Rose DLC. It's just it's making me think. I have no idea, but uh. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, then hit the thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. It definitely helps my videos get found by the algorithm and um, consider subscribing and I will catch you guys on the next video. All right. Good night. God bless. Peace.